All right, let's check out our next dork. And this will be called the error log dork. Um, now, we looked at previously uh, the proxy log, basically a proxy dork. So we could look through, say, 500 in that dork, we looked at, okay, what are the, the HTTP status codes that are being returned? And if it's a 500, maybe I could go in there manually and see if I can like get a stack trace or something like that, right? Uh, because error 500 is, is a server error, right? But what's if you wanted to start looking through, you know, just error logs in general and, and querying the stack traces associated uh, with those error logs. Well, that this is where the, uh, the range operator is actually very helpful, okay? Because it'll find a given number range, okay? And an example of that, say we're looking right here through some, some PHP logs, where we're trying to find some PHP error logs. But it's, it's interesting because it's like you only want, you know, some of those within a certain range, right? I mean, like you, you wouldn't want ones that were in 2001, 2002, or something like that, right? So a common, common items or terms that are in PHP error logs or say warning, error, online, PHP, right? We'll, we'll scope it to a file type of log, and then we'll say, hey, give us anything with 2015, 2016, or 2017 within the results. Um, so this will be huge because it'll basically show logs with a given timestamp. Obviously, there's a billion different variations that you can do with this. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and, and check out. Actually, that's not there. Let's go over here. And we'll see when we, I, I put in that search, that query into here, and we'll see a bunch of, bunch of items in here. Uh, and the bold will, will show that we are uh, getting the correct timestamps uh, that we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, these are huge because they basically show <laughs> internal implementations, right? So you can see directory structure right here. Uh, there's a lot of really... Um, pretty juicy information here um, from, a, from a reconnaissance standpoint. If somebody was trying to do like a directory traversal attack or whatnot, well, they already know kind of the context uh, where PHP is executing in, all kinds of items. So yeah, definitely a, a good thing to know. There is also a, a billion other items. Unfortunately, hackers also leverage this for mining social security numbers uh, because different uh, socials obviously have different ranges and stuff or well, different states have different social security numbers uh, so um, that are associated with them so different people leverage the range operator there uh, there's there's a lot of things that people do with this harvesting telephone numbers within a given area code uh, all kinds of stuff so anyhow uh, that is the airlog dork looking forward to seeing you next time